Guys, I want to read a couple verses about a great man. This was a great man. Most of us would not even be in the kingdom of God if it wasn't for this man. This is a great man in the Bible. It's found in Acts chapter 10, and it starts in verse 1. It says, There is a certain man of Caesarea, uh, in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion, and he was uh, called from the Italian regiment, a devout man, one who feared God and all his household and gave alms generously to, uh, to the people and prayed to God always. And if you know the rest of the story, an angel appeared and an angel said, your, your giving and all that you've done has came up as a memorial before God. He had a reputation as a man who feared God. He had a reputation as a man, I might say, not that didn't just tithe, but he gave alms and he helped the poor. I want to challenge you with something. Man, what is your reputation? This man was of such reputation. And the reason I said to begin with, none of us would be in the kingdom probably if it wasn't for this man. This was the first Gentile that, that got saved. This was the man that, if I could say it this way, broke open the gospel for the Gentiles. Because up to that time, they thought the only people that could be saved were Jews and Samaritans which are half-breed Jews this was the first Gentile convert Cornelius and this broke open the gospel to come to people like us and the reason he was chosen was because of his reputation because he was a man who who gave who feared God he prayed always and he gave alms can I ask you something what is your reputation what is your reputation before God are you a man who prays always are you a man that looks to bless others and give to others? Are you somebody that fears God and obeys God? Are you just somebody just sort of you're around and, and you're a whole lot, you know, you, you, you basically just, you're there, but you really don't do much? I want to challenge you. Man, build a reputation. Build a heritage. Build a godly reputation where people look at you and they might not agree with you on everything, but they say that man fears God. That man obeys God. That's a praying man. That man goes to the house of the Lord. That man fears God. That man blesses people. You might not like him, but he blesses people. I remember my mother telling me when she grew up, she said for entertainment before they had television, way back in the early 40s, they'd go down to the Pentecostal church because they would they, that was their entertainment, and they'd watch those people. But she said this, you know, we were sort of laughing about it. And she said, but you know, those are some of the best people in the community. They were the best people to do business with. They were the people to help you. You know, they thought they were a little weird, but they were the best people out there. And the thing is, is this, you and I should be the same way. People might think we're a little weird, but we should have such a reputation that people say, that man fears God, he's an honest man, he'll do you right, and he blesses people. What's your reputation?